Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some Factorio efficiently. I am uh, recording this a, a few days in advance as I'm, I'm wont to do, and uh, I am a, a Michigan State Spartan fan, and uh, I'm gonna take two seconds to just say what 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 an, what an amazing ending to a game. <laughs> that's that's all I've got for that. Uh, it's just, it was flat out amazing. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, you should probably go check it out, because it was amazing. All right. All right. Yeah, this is bad. See, this is after these. This really needs to be like here. I need to pull these three guys out. I need to pull them out. Where are we going to put the loop for... Where are we going to put the loop for those guys? I really kind of want to just break this up into four loops. But then how do you... Get the main loop. Hmm. How do you have the raw resources main loop if you don't get... The other thing I could do... Oh, because there's not enough room to pull off here. What are we building down here? What are we building down here, huh? I need the red wire condition. There we go. Probably to get the um, to get these for the science packs. Right, because this is the only place you can get those now. All right, that's our order area. We don't need to order, we don't need to pick up science because that will be delivered straight into the science loop. I'm going to change this to a smart filter because it does occur to me I can't just do that because obviously the raw materials will be on the loop. So good thing I caught that before we got too far in, huh? Hey, um, how about we go all in one direction? That could be beneficial. Alright. And you can just filter everything. Just If you get science packs, pull the science packs off. That's going to bug me. Not enough to, to worry about it. We'll do the same thing here. So if something gets by it, and we've got two of them. It's ready to go. Off they go. And then the raw materials stay on the loop. Okay. We have the requisite science for to do blue science. So let's set that up right now. We'll get all the masks going for that. If there's blue science, I'll put blue science. That's from the RET network. Into here. Of course, I can't say that this is blue science yet, but we can do it. All right. One, two, three, four will be for the blue science. So you're going to take input of blue. Copy that. One, two, three, four. Um, it, it's all one to one, though, isn't it? Yeah, everything is one to one, so let's just multiply by one to get right off the get. Copy it all in. And let's stop what we need. We need steel. Um, we need Smartens. Weird. That was weird. Okay. So anyway, we need steel. We need um, smart inserters. We need batteries, which I think are in here. Yep. And we need advanced circuits. Steel, smart inserters, batteries. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, no. So, one, two, three, four, one. So if we had batteries, we'd be good to go. Because we don't have batteries, we are not good to go. But 
the compiler is ready. And the output of this needs to come into all these. One. This is backwards. God damn it. It would be really great if I could just like start a video and do everything in the proper order, wouldn't it? That would be fantastic. Copy that into these four. All right. Give me steel. Give me a steel. Give me a uh, advanced circuit. Give me a battery. And give me smart inserters. Okay. The output of this is what goes to the input of oh, these guys. So that gives me that. And then the output of this, that's what goes back into the red network. And into the green network. Good. Good, good, good. So that's done. So the compiler, at least, is ready for that. Okay. Ores are doing fine. I would really like to have my inserters there. Because in order to do a loop, well, what I could do is draw it off... Draw the, the components off here. Right? And then have them feed onto something. I don't know, because this is just so small. How many? That's one, two, need three. You need two. You need three. Three of them need three. Wow. Inserters are, are complicated. This is cool, though. We don't have to wait for all the gears to suck up the iron. So that's maybe one consideration of not putting the gears up front. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've thought about using splitters, too. So, like... Let me just, let me just explain it or show you. So you've got your your loop. This is This is your loop, right? And then your splitter comes in here, and then it pulls off what it needs into a chest and, and does its thing. That's also tempting, but then you can end up with one product stuck, and I don't, I don't like that. That, to me, is a bad idea. Okay. I almost feel like every order you do has to include 50 of each science pack now. At a minimum, just because of the length. But again, we're working to optimize. So hopefully with the optimization, these won't take nearly so long to um, maneuver. That is unnecessary now. It's powering those. It's powering that one. Okay. That's fine. We can move it, though. Because I'm going to want to put that in there. I want this in here as it needs to be. That should reach that. That should reach that. So those should be fine. That's all the stuff we need for that. Let me just put a little power pole in there. We're all good to go. And that little power pole will be the container for our major green network. The, the minor green network, rather. For this bad boy. I hope. Oh, it's too far there. And that's too far. We need two. So we'll put two smaller power poles. That's not going to connect. One there. And one there. Oh, it's... Okay. 
Okay, so that's the green order network to let us know what needs to come through. We'll set that up in a minute. Because I don't have blue science yet. So, there you go. What I need to consider are batteries. I think what we have to... Yeah, okay, you know what? I've been looking at this for three episodes now and just been too lazy to go over and move it. I'm going to go move it. So, to make our batteries... First off, how's the power doing? Power's doing just fine. To make our batteries, we need to start regulating... Yeah, I kind of figured... We need to start regulating our uh, oil usage. To accomplish that, I think what we need to do is um, wow, it's a lot of stone. I'm just gonna carry some stone on me for a while. That's fine. Um. to, but I don't really want to increase the smelting of that. Kind of beyond what I'm doing. Okay, so, uh, oh, okay, so what I was thinking of is keeping the battery, like, setting up a separate ore, oil, rather, system, loop, so to keep all of that off of it, because I can have, I can make another entryway, right, just duplicate that down here, and just have robots, when I finally can get them, delivering the product to each zone and making sure that that chest is always full. And then just back and forth, and away it goes. <clears throat> so I think that's what I'm going to do. It's just going to take a bit to get there. Are you done? No, you just can't run. I like this layout. It feels nice. I don't know if I ever need to expand smelting beyond this, based on how far ahead we are, but I bet I do. You know what I mean? First off, we should really have steel furnaces. Can I make steel furnaces? I can make steel furnaces. So I want to upgrade these. Um, stone furnaces don't upgrade to anything. I guess they upgrade to boilers, technically. So as I need more power, I can upgrade them to the boilers, but that's not great. I would like to go steel though. So let's make let's make all of those and start getting our steel furnaces in place. Because I think it's time to upgrade. I would also like to upgrade those two. So I don't have them sitting around anymore. Because there's really no need for them. Um, do we upgrade steel first? Kind of seems unnecessary. Let's upgrade raw that and one side of the um, or one half of the uh, copper rather just to get it going and we'll dump these in our miscellaneous and hopefully remember them uh what what's up with these oh that's right because I made extra so they're just sitting around silly I should have upgraded these actually can I think it so how many more do I need two four 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I need 14 more. We'll make 16. We'll make them all, and I'll just double that up. It's beyond time for that, anyway. Okay, how are the orders going? The orders seem to be going okay. Nothing is getting pulled into here, though. Why is... Okay, it's getting A. Why is it not outputting anything? Wait a minute, what? What? Where are you pulling your green... You pull the green in because it, you need... Damn. Because you need the raw... Numbers of each one. So because I'm controlling these gates, I don't want to trigger off of green. I want to trigger off of what is actually needed. 
So you're going to there. You're going to there. You are going to copper, I think. Boy, I hope. Yep, good. <laughs> you're going to there. Okay, cool. I'm glad I saw that. I haven't hooked this up yet, but yeah, that makes sense because I'm just triggering exactly what do I need to pull that stuff off. I'm not doing the math part of it. I'm just saying, hey, give me the stuff. Yeah, that's good. That was smart. I did that. Was good, bro. What was going on? That was smart. I just didn't. I just didn't hook it up right away. I like the new, um, the new graphics for the steel. For instance, I really like them. All right, you can go away. You can go away. Um, you need you like this. It's not going to reach both. That's only incredibly annoying. Fine. Fine. Do we need... Are we being limited by input? Yes, we are. Good to know. We are not being limited by the output. Okay, so we just need chests. We'll make one more. I, I was really tempted... Oh, I don't have any steel. I was really tempted just to... Just to take one of those. But no, I'm going to do this right. i do it right. Okay, so you need some fuel and the, wood, the stone. You're not a steel chest. You're an iron chest? Ah... How did I end up with an iron chest? That is silly. I've got a wasted chest. I don't like that. Alright. Oh, yeah. And then you can have all these. Alright. Cool. So we've upgraded our smelting. Which is cool. So that means the ore is going to move faster. Which is cool. Nothing's going around the main loop anymore, which is worrying. Ah, uh, because we're just waiting for the gears. See? It's, it's damn gears. It's the gears, Cotton. It's the gears. All right. going actually pretty good. I feel I feel happy about what we've, what we've accomplished. I feel good. I, I do wish this was somewhere else, but there's not a lot you could do about that uh, without making the loop longer. So, I guess that's how it is. Um, I would like to speed up this loop, though. Now that I've actually got the belt for it. We'll still keep it slow where it needs to be slow, but we need to speed up all the outputs for sure. We do that. Um, we might as well speed up here. And I'll just leave it slow for all the rest of it. So that's good. This can be fast. Cool. So that's good. I like that upgrade. We've got inserters, which is awesome. It knows not to pull off the inserters because there's no inserters in the order. So it just lets them on through. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, it's, it's working. Again, it's just, it's just slow. But it's cool. All right. Um, we're going to go check on the outpost, I think, to start off the next app, because it looks like the copper's not coming in quite as fast, so we're just going to start running over there now. And no train, yes! Plenty of iron out there, too, if that iron deposit ever runs out, but I don't think it's going to. Yeah, wow, half the copper deposit's not even working. 
Well, this is this is bad. We're gonna need to find another copper source here. All right, so it's one, two, three on the left. One, two, three on the right. Add two more to it. Hmm. Not happy with any of these options, to be honest with you. That's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> it's gonna look crazy. I know this. That's just how I roll. Oh, come on. That still doesn't connect either. All right, so all the copper's running. So it's running as best as it can. Um, we'll speed it up, of course. Uh, we'll speed it up for about two seconds, of course. I suppose that's something. All right, well, uh, we will uh, leave it here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. Consider re <sighs> consider taking diction lessons so you don't sound as ridiculous, Frog. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything. And until next time, cheers.